What's going on everybody? It's Gideon and Anna Entertainment and I'm here doing a little update video. Actually, this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to talk a little bit about me, my goals, what I'm doing here, why I'm even making these videos and stuff like that. So yeah, i um, not sure if, who's watching, but I know I have a couple friends that watch. So thank you to my friends and people who have been cool enough to like, check out the channel and watch our videos every now and then. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and put that intro, which by the way, my friend Albert Ferran <laughs> let me know that he wanted me to fix this little red line that you see in the intro video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here's the intro. Hey guys, so um, just wanted to let you know right now, um, you know, I think I've spoken about this before in a previous video or two, but uh, I have a, a big family, you know, that they're all fairly young. My kids are young. Uh, my oldest is going to be five in August, but uh, all the other kids are under four years old, including my twins that are going to be a year in June. So looking forward to that. And my uh, middle baby now, who used to be the youngest, she's going to be, uh, she just turned three, so she's going to be four next December. But anyway, my full-time job has basically become taking care of those kids. Um, that's what I do every day, especially on my wife's, uh, she has a new schedule. So she works seven days on, seven days off. And on her off, I'm sorry, on her on days, which is like now, um, I'm amazed that my little ones haven't woken up yet, but I think I heard them. So pretty soon I'm going to have to make them milk and feed them and stuff like that. But um, I just uh, wanted to update you guys and let you guys know what we're doing. So... On the Mana Entertainment front, on our company side, right, um, I spoke to my team and they're all in agreement that they think it's a cool idea. So one of the hurdles I've been having, um, we started Mana Entertainment back in 2000, it was either 2013, 14, 2014. So it's been about four to five years in January it was when we started it that um you know we've been trying to get space exodus out and we're happy that it's actually available at the google play store it's it's in beta form but there's a lot of features that are not implemented a lot of ideas that just weren't be able to be developed and one of our um one of my good friends who he's worked with us in the past his name is dj and i think i've introduced you guys in, in the earlier videos if not go back and check out one of our first videos um the first two were music so that's when i started the channel but i actually started making videos uh, with the about us in the manner entertainment so you guys can go back and check that out um i'll probably put a little you know that little link that comes up on the top here and uh yeah so dj told me back then that oh i think the game is a little bit too difficult to program you might want to scale it down a little bit you know like cut some of the features and i did but in my mind i'm thinking but this game isn't that complicated right like it could be built like somebody can do it but the issue is, you know, we weren't dealing with a budget. We weren't dealing with investors that were like, you know, we want this game done by a certain time. So here's X amount of money, which, by the way, had we done everything professionally and, um, you know, like paid people the the averages of what they're supposed to be paid. I believe the, the cheapest that I got the budget down to was four hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars, which, um, you know, part of the reason I made Mana Entertainment is because I did not want to. I didn't want to go that investor route, especially in the beginning. Like I didn't want to be holding to people's money, basically, and them telling us, okay, you got to do this change, you got to do that change, you got to have it done by this time or whatever. Um, my whole thing was that I made it because I didn't have a job, and because I didn't have a job, I was looking for something to do. So I thought, you know, hey, I have ideas. I'm, I, I'm a game designer at my heart, at my core, even though I'm not much of a programmer. Um, Learning programming has been very, very slow. It's something that I am trying to psych myself into saying that I like and that I love, but I, I, I don't, but I'm trying to get there. You know, I'm still working on it on myself. But uh, yeah, so basically Space Exodus has been taking way too long to finish. It's, it's out, but it's not in a complete state. Um, a lot of the online features, none of the online features are implemented. Uh, the companion bot system, there's only four working companion bots out of, a, I believe it was like 120 or something like that that I designed. And those are, you know, um, those are all like they highly customize your ship. So they make the gameplay experience different for every person. And, you know, it's, it's a great concept, but I didn't want to live and die on this one game, you know, and it made me think about Rovio, Rovio Studios, um, if you guys don't know who they are, they're the ones that made Candy Crush. And, you know, and 
I, I was when I was in full sale when I was going back to college in full sale university like I learned that Rovio they actually made about not exactly but maybe about 80 80 games give or take a little plus or minus they made about 80 games before they actually landed on Angry Birds and of those 80 games that they made almost none of them were a success like if they had a little bit of money coming in like they probably were feeling good about it but Angry Birds, you know, it put them on the map. Since then, there's been many Angry Birds games. They got the Star Wars license to do Star Wars Angry Birds. They have uh, a cartoon show, I believe, on, on Netflix. I've seen it. They had a movie. You know, they've had tons of merchandising. So those guys are they're swimming in the, 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 in the, the efforts of making 80 games to get to that point. Now, there's no way around being a company, you know, being a company, we're not out there as a charity, right? We're not doing this for free. I mean, we are in the sense that we, we don't have money to pay people right now, but truth be told, the reason that we're, that I built Mana Entertainment is because I wanted to be able to do a startup company with very little to no investment needed, but the investment that would be needed um, in terms of time and effort that's something that I thought, you know, hey, people can do it as a labor of love, stuff like that, you know, take their time with it. So I'm still doing that for the most part. But my core team, which is DJ, uh, Carlos, Mike, uh, Carlos is basically our main art guy and M Mike is our audio composer. He he did like all the music and all the sound effects. And he's really like an audio genius. Like, And Carlos is very, very versatile, very strong at doing what he does. He's very good at UI art. He does um, background art. He does, uh, you know, he 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 could basically do the whole whole thing, everything that we need for a two D mobile game. So, with that being said, um, our next game is going to be an endless runner, and uh, it's going to have a theme that's hopefully familiar to all of you guys. So, we'll, I'll show you guys a hint of it soon when we have something to show. But yeah, we're working on the next game. So, my boy is waking up. I'm going to go feed him soon, but. Going back to what I'm trying to say, just so I could wrap up this video and kind of make it quick. So the next game is going to be an Endless Runner, and our plan is to make games that are a little less complex and a little less uh, complicated from a coding standpoint, right? So this first game that I made, Space Exodus, it's supposed to be uh, what you would call games as a service, where um, we planned on making 100 levels first, having an online mode that's competitive, and then releasing more levels as the game started increasing in popularity and, you know, success and financially and stuff like that. And then, you know, being able to, like, expand and improve the game and, you know, hopefully do the thing that every, like, indie game studio dreams of doing, which is getting, like, you know, popular brands, like having a spaceship from, like, Star Fox or a spaceship or, like, having, like, the Millennial Falcon from Star Wars or, you know, things like that, like, or the, Star the Starship Enterprise, like, being able to use different ships and stuff like that, like, that would be really cool. And our game is like a geometry style wars game, but I wanted to make it a little more in depth. But anyway, so I'm having to extremely tone down the kind of game that I design for the future because our, our goal is basically make more games so that we can have a stronger portfolio and hopefully start getting some um, actual cash flow coming in. Because truth be told, you know, like there's not much we could do. Um, I mean, we could make a game right now. We could make a bunch of games, but in terms of my plans of the future, so... I think big, you know, I've always dreamed and thought big and like, I want to do AAA games for consoles and computer. Um, you know, I want to make like huge games. Like I'm, I'm inspired by so many things. So right now what we're doing is like, I mean, 5% of what I want to do. And that's awesome that we're able to do that with no money. But I do know that realistically we can't get there without it. So, you know, if I talk about money and stuff like that, like I had um, the videos on how to make a, a, an indie game studio and, you know, the importance of succeeding and stuff like that when you have to pay people, especially those things are very important because if you don't do that, you know, you're not going to be able to to achieve your dreams. And the dreams of the video game industry are very expensive. You can't be a one man show to do a game like, let's say, like a Super Mario Odyssey or like a Kingdom Hearts or you know, whatever, whatever you can think of, like a Halo, like any big franchise, Call of Duty even, like those games, just look at the ending of like one of the biggest games that you played and take your time to go through the credits. You will see minimum of like 150 names. And that's like a bare minimum to make that game happen, right? To make it work. So we have four people that are going to be working on the, on the next game, uh, excluding myself. So myself, like I said, DJ, Carlos, and Mike, that's, yeah, that's four people, and Laura, we're going to have hopefully doing the website for us eventually, but um, 
yeah so my plan is i want to make more games and uh you know and just to tell you a little bit about myself so i'm kind of eccentric i can be what you would call weird like i'm into like different stuff you know like um i'm very scientific and, and logical when it comes to like my planning and i'm very meticulous but at the same time i'm very spiritual and i'm very like weird when it comes to like esoteric and like mystical occult kind of stuff uh, you know, I have like my faith in my religion or whatever and what I believe in and um, You know, I like to combine all those things like there's a lot more to me than just like I'm a game designer or I'm a business owner or like I'm trying to make it in the world or whatever like and um, You know just to let you guys know like the point of me doing this YouTube channel is I kind of want to let you guys know who we are as man entertainment and I would love for the channel not just the channel but the the company as a whole to grow and I don't want to make videos like this forever because I do want to have the channel always open so I can have a way of directly contacting you people and, you know, like, like talking to the fans and stuff. Like if we like imagine if like in the next 10 years we become giant, like, you know, like, I don't know what's a big company like Rockstar or something. And we're like really cool. You know, a lot of these companies, they, they, they do promotions and they do ads and stuff. But my thing is I've always been about the people, you know, and I've always thought. It would be pretty cool if we could be like a big company doing big games and then we could actually do like Q&A's with people and stuff like that. So I still want to be involved in my in, in our channel, but in the future, I probably want to find somebody who's better looking and, uh, you know, more charismatic, I guess, to um, <laughs> to like to do our main channel updates. And uh, one of the things I would like to do, too, is um, like I want to branch out into a lot of different things. So games is my focus, but I made Mana Entertainment because I want to do movies, video games, music anime, you know, cartoons, like the whole gamut of entertainment. I eventually want to have my hand in every piece of that puzzle, I guess. And um, yeah, I want to be able to do that. And I want to be able also to, um, you know, to give opportunities to people because at the end of the day, my, my main primary goal with this is like, I've been watching Shark Tank a lot lately, right? And every time I see that there's somebody that's struggling and they, and they, they get approved or rather they get selected by a shark, and they're helping them achieve their dreams, it brings me to tears because I love it. I, I've always wanted to help people. So I don't want to be a person on Shark Tank applying for, you know, a loan. Like that was the reason I didn't want to make my company. Like we had a $150,000 offer for an investor that was a friend of mine who's actually the one who wrote our legal contracts. And truth be told, I probably should have taken it if I would have been a little smarter back then, but I was being a little stubborn. So, um, but the reason we didn't want to start off with investors is because we knew that when you have an investor, they care about their returns. You know, they want their money to come back and they want to make sure that their money is secure and all that stuff. And I'm not like an amazing businessman, right? So I may have good ideas when it comes to game design. I may even have good business ideas, but in, in terms of like implementation and growth and, and all this stuff that you need to make a business work. I wouldn't say that's my strength. So eventually I'm also going to need to help with that, you know, like find somebody who can help me grow my business. I'm smart enough to protect my business. You know, I have copyrights, I have patent, uh, no, no patents really, but you know, I have everything protected from a legal standpoint. I made sure I did that first because you know, I'm, I'm so creative and I'm so like thinking about the dreams and all this big stuff that I wanted to make sure that in that process, I didn't get lost and lose what I was trying to do and lose myself in the, in the process, you know? So yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about what we're doing, a little bit more about who I am. Um, you know, it's very difficult to know me without really like spending time with me. And I do miss having like, I used to have like very close friends and we used to hang out all the time. Now I have about like two or three friends that I stay in contact with and um, it's nice, but you know, I do miss having like my social time, but there's no time for that when you got four kids. So I'm gonna go make my son his bottle because I think he's waking up first, my only son. And his twin is probably going to be waking up sometime soon after that while my older girls are taking a nap. So I just want to thank you guys for, if you watch this video, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for giving us the time of day. There's a million other things you could be watching, but you're here watching this. I really, really appreciate you guys. I want you to know that if I've done something that like hasn't been awesome or cool in your eyes or something that you think I can fix, I would love for you to tell us because I will fix it. Like I'm going to fix that. You know, I'm, by the time you watch this, that, that intro should be fixed. And I think I'm going to lower the volume a little bit, too, because it's kind of on the loud side. But anyway, this is Gideon from Man Entertainment. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Peace.